The explosions came just after midnight in a residential neighborhood of Kharkiv. According to police, Russia fired two missiles at the city, then attacked with drones during rescue operations. I was sleeping. The explosion woke me up. The fuel station was on fire. They yelled at me, get out. But I stood there and stared. There was another explosion and everything started falling. The attack came as Ukraine's air force reported multiple Russian drone attacks across the country in recent days. On Friday, a Russian strike on the southern city of Zaporizhia killed four people and wounded more than 20. As in Kharkiv, local authorities also accused Russia of bombing the same spot twice in order to kill the rescue workers on the scene. The Russian army said it intended to target a Ukrainian aircraft engine manufacturer, which it said was being used for military purposes. From March 31st to April 5th, in response to the Kyiv regime's attempts to damage facilities in Russia's oil, gas and energy sectors, the Russian armed forces carried out 39 group strikes using high-precision ground and air-launched weapons and drones. In addition to attacks on Russian refineries, Ukraine has also struck an air base in the Rostov region. On Friday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visited fortifications in Chernihiv. Zelensky has been calling on the West to continue its military aid as Russia gains ground against a Ukrainian army short of soldiers and ammunition.